Hi, welcome to What the Kids Be Saying. I am your host, Esther Bruna, and What the Kids Be Saying is your source of behind her pop culture knowledge. Straight from high school teachers' classrooms. I keep up with Gen Z, so you jump to the action. So on today's episode, we are doing cheating part two because I did a part one earlier this season, a couple episodes back. So if you want to go find that episode, you can. Um, and in the comments were so many other things that I never experienced and I was like well I gotta share these too so I'm back here with you with another episode about cheating because apparently it's lengthy <laughs> okay so number one is airdrop so if you use an iPhone which is the only phone anyone should ever use okay anyway if you use an iPhone it has a feature called airdrop on it now if you are a high school teacher I suggest never having your airdrop on everyone. Actually if you're an iPhone user in general don't have your airdrop on everyone at all times it's ridiculous um, Um, what sometimes people will airdrop to you who are complete strangers in the mall. Anyway, um, so what happens is is that if one of the kids finishes an assignment, they will screenshot, not screenshot it, but take a picture of it, and then they will airdrop it. Or they one of them finds the answers online, they screenshot it, they airdrop it to everyone. It's rampant. One time I was sitting in my classroom, and it was my planning period, so I'm on my phone <clears throat> looking for something, you know, like going through emails for sure. And um, <laughs> I get an airdrop, and I'm like, what is this airdrop? And I looked at it, and guess what it was? Uh, the classroom next door had a sub, and they were airdropping the answers to their assignment. Oh my gosh, a bunch of cheaters. Next is AirPods. Okay, so I did not know about this one. This was new to me. So, of course, you know, I had to go on TikTok to go do a little research. Like, hey, what are you guys doing with these AirPods um, to go see how they were cheating with the AirPods? So there's two different things that I saw. Number one is making a voice recording of your notes and then putting your AirPods in and having it play on a loop. The ingenuity. Okay, the second thing that I saw, which is the kids will swap um, AirPods, well, one of their AirPods, and then they will type answers on their watch and have Siri say it, or type answers on their phone and have Siri say it. Um, and then so if you have the left one from your friend, she can tell you an answer. And if you have the next answer, she can tell um, you the other answer. Like, what? It's wild. Number three is a website called Slater.com. I did know about this one, but I just didn't feel like it was worth mentioning, but I guess it is for sure worth mentioning that there's a website with all the math textbooks in the world. Um, I don't know if it's just math, let me look. Um, and it has all the answers to all the problems. And it looks like a legit website. Like it doesn't look like some website that some hacker kid made. Like it may, it, it's like a legit, beautiful, well-functioning website with some cool artwork on it. <laughs> I don't get it. You can search your textbook and then all the solutions are there for you. What? Uh, and then lastly, I'm just gonna go over some of the creative things that I saw in the comments of that first cheating post. Again, it's season two, episode four. You can go back and watch that. Um, I'm just gonna read some of them. Oh gosh. Ripped or destroyed jeans. The kids will fold up their answers and put them into the, the, the blah, 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 and put them into the ripped part of their jeans so that it's like the answers on their thigh. That's creative. <laughs> Buying the same resource that your teacher used off TPT. I'm shocked. <laughs> the dedication and the affluence. Y'all know I'm gonna love this one. You're, you guys are gonna know why I love this one. The most extreme case I've seen yet was a student, not in my class of course, I like that this person <laughs> stipulated that, put the answers on a note card in the bottom of her Crocs. <laughs> Crotchy, that's just wild. I had a kid literally write his answers on his ankle and he had his leg propped up and he kept scratching his ankle. What in the world? I have caught them switching tests with somebody who finished their test early. Answers on the inside of a water bottle. So the label, they take it off, put the answers in it so they can still see through it. What? Say 
whisper and ask Siri for answers. Writing the answers in the calculator before the test. Make sure you second plus seven one two that junk before every class. Speaking of second plus seven one two. These are not out yet, but they're coming, just so you know. And they're super cute. If you don't know, uh, me and the squad <laughs> make math teacher merch. And that, it's always linked in the bottom. Anyway, that does it for this week's episode of What It Gets Me Saying. As always, if I forgot something, put it in the comments. Let us know. And stay hip, friends.